Good evening, and welcome to the virtual opening of Remembering While Looking with Diana Abels and Dan Gian. Tonight, Dan and Diana are going to give you a virtual tour of the exhibition, as well as a little insight into the pieces included. While we are very excited to have them here and exploring this exhibition with you, we want to take a moment to acknowledge and recognize those who are protesting and standing up against police brutality and systemic oppression that faces the black and brown communities both here in central Ohio and across the country on a daily basis. For those who are committed to the cause, thank you so much and we hope that this moment might offer a little bit of peace, a chance to rest and recharge. If you are interested in supporting the cause and are able to do so, please donate to the Columbus Freedom Fund, or if you're outside of Central Ohio, a comp comparable organization in your area. Links and a list will be included in the event description. Now, I'd like to introduce Diana and Dan with Remembering While Looking. Hi, I'm Diana Abels. I, uh, I'm originally from Massachusetts. Um, I got my undergrad degree at St. Mary's College of Maryland, which is the time where I kind of decided I wanted to be an artist. And um, right after that, I came um, here to Columbus to get my MFA at Ohio State in 2015. Uh, and I've been teaching here as a lecturer uh, since then and, and working on my own artwork and, and kind of navigating a studio process uh, and that's where I met Dan uh, and began our, our studio collaboration that led to this show. I was born and raised in China. I always begin with that um, just in case people wonder and uh, um, came to United States at the age of 18 and started at a community college then uh, got my BFA at Tyler School of Art Temple University and uh, um, came to Ohio State for master um, that's a you know expedient of my past 15 years but um, currently I'm, I, uh, I taught at Ohio State University um, currently I'm an associate professor at uh, Texas Christian University, teaching painting and drawing. Hi. Uh, so, uh, Remembering While Looking is a collaborative um, installation um, from myself and uh, my friend uh, Dan Jan. And uh, this kind of began when we were working together last summer, um, and in the summer before that, too, we would get together um, and uh, kind of just spend some studio time together. One of the things that kind of pulled us together um, was this experience of collage, uh, like storytelling through combining different um, sources, different imagery uh, into loose narratives and building from there. And this, I think this show is kind of a culmination of that um, studio time together. We're starting here with a video that I made in 2019, Power and Cool, which was a video where I kind of explored some of the mythologies and, and um, kind of loose narrative moments from the Western genre of TV and movies, um, and, and definitely like an old old uh, genre um, from like looking at footage from the 60s and um, 70s. One of the things that kind of pulled me into this um, particular project was kind of collecting footage of these particular like outlaws or, or kind of sheriffs, good guys, was this idea of their sort of gaze, they're staring at each other directly, and, and the notion of like who blinks first. There's something a, a little bit terrifying about that, and I was interested in trying to contrast that by inserting some of my own childhood drawings of um, sort of Western imagery, uh, trying to just um, disrupt the narrative of the, the Western genre with a childhood um, perspective on that. 
Dan also works with collage, but in a different way, in sort of combining different moments. Uh, the collage in my practice is not uh, literal. It's more of a concept of the ability to pull reference from different time, different era, and a different cultural significance to be merged together, but they were all created um, by hand. So in my work, Clash is more of a reference to different kind of mind space. And uh, um, the surface is a place where those different mind space, different perspectives are able to commingle. And hopefully through this um, juxtaposition, it arises a new kind of context for me, um, a context where mine are given the freedom to wander around. There's a lot of space in my work. Um, so compared to Diana's practice, her clash is more of a literal clash, uh, even though they are digital work on the same surface. It was more of a cutting and paste via digital tool. But I think the connection between us is that we would both hope to create a new kind of context where we were can have a um, renewal or newly generated experience through the juxtaposition of multiple visual elements. One thing that came up between me and Diana is that, um, especially in the recent work, during our last virtual studio visit was that um, we both want our work to have enough of a space that is poetic and abstract. Um, so abstraction is a direction that both our work are heading. With that said, what we are taking out of those uh, work, it might just be a kind of sensation that is hard to put into language. And I think that's something that we deliberately want to incorporate in our work. Thanks so much to Dan and Diana for the tour of the exhibition this evening. And thank you to all of you for joining us. If you would like to explore this exhibition as well as In Silence by Crystal Tursich, we will be resuming our open hours tomorrow, Saturday, June 6th, from 12 to 3 p.m. by appointment and with safety guidelines in place. Please visit 934gallery.org to book an appointment and review our safety guidelines prior to your visit. Thank you, be safe, and stay strong.